So this is a 2018 flagship processor, Snapdragon 845 on the Pixel 3 and this is a 2021 mid-range chip, Snapdragon 778G on Mi 11 Lite 5G. And if you see here, in a video render test, they are both neck to neck. And if you open Geekbench, 2021 Snapdragon 778G just embarrasses the 2018 flagship. Surprise, surprise. And Pixel 3 still sells for about 22 to 23,000 on Amazon and Snapdragon 778G phones start from 25,000, which is almost the same. So the question that has to be asked is, should you buy an old flagship? Well, to explain that first, I'll ask you, do you understand smartphone processors? Well, I'm there for you. This is Pratik, this is TW Explains. And after watching this video, you will have a crystal clear idea about smartphone processors and which one to buy. Now, first of all, we need to understand that Snapdragon 888 or any mobile processor, I'll take Snapdragon 888 for example. Now, first of all, these are not processors. Like Snapdragon 888 is not equal to Intel i5. Intel i5 11800H is a CPU and Snapdragon 888 is not just a CPU. Smartphones have SOC, system on chip. Look here, a Snapdragon 888 processor has a CPU here, it has a GPU here, memory, RAM, ISP for image processing, DSP for digital signal processing for tasks like audio conversion, noise cancellation, gyro sensor calculation, ambient line sensor data, any calculation that requires low power consumption. Then you have the modem for your internet calls, all of that. You also get small, small cores for AI tasks like OK Google detection, encryption, decryption of files, all of that. So from a conventional Intel CPU, this is a lot different. Whereas Intel CPU is just a CPU. It doesn't have a RAM, modem or small special cores over it. Like for example, you can consider Snapdragon 888 to be sort of a motherboard and an Intel CPU is like your general physician. You have a stomach ache, diarrhea, you just go to him, he'll take some time to figure out, give you painkillers at the end. But an SOC like Snapdragon has a general physician as well as a specialist like dentist, ENT specialist, gynac if you may, all of that on a single board. And unlike laptops, smartphones do fixed tasks like taking photos, everyone does it, taking phone calls, Everyone does that. Using Google Assistant, most people do that. So now, when hardware makers know this task is going to happen, they start putting small, small hardware cores on processor to fasten that particular task. They are specialized and they do only that task, but faster than a normal general GPU. With that out, the major question now comes is, why was the 2021 mid-range processor faster than the 2018 flagship processor, right? Well, the answer lies in the explanation I gave you. If you look side by side, Snapdragon 778G has one faster A78 core clocked at 2.5 gigahertz, three A78 cores clocked a bit lower at 2.2 gigahertz, and four efficiency cores A55 clocked at 1.9 gigahertz. And Snapdragon 845 on the other hand has four A75 cores clocked way higher at 2.8 gigahertz and four efficiency A55 cores clocked at 1.7 gigahertz. And just by looking at it, you will be like, Huh, Snapdragon 845 can go up to 2.8 GHz and it is the clear faster CPU. But then why did it score way less on Geekbench? And why was it neck to neck in the video render test? Well, the video render test was almost close because Snapdragon 845 on Pixel 3 has a more powerful GPU. But the Snapdragon 778G has a more efficient CPU. See, over the year, chip manufacturers have made lots of improvements and the AI performance, or just to say calculation performance of these chips have become way higher. In case you don't know, using AI commands or software requires huge amount of floating coil calculations. Just think of it as a huge decimal number and then adding, subtracting, multiplying those huge decimal numbers. Like here, have a look. Another example of AI performance is the interpreter mode and let me ask both of them to translate real time to Hindi. Interpreter mode. Okay, sure. What language what do you language want, do you to, want to, translate to translate it? Hindi. Okay, Hindi. Got it. Hindi. Hi, this is Pratik from techwiser.com and I like running. Some say it's like dancing but in different rhythm but I would still say that it's running and a quick brown fox jumps over a lazy dog. I'm not the lazy dog. Maybe you're the lazy dog. I don't know. The 2021 mid-range can keep up with the Pixel flagship from 2018 because Snapdragon 778G has better chips on it to handle especially this huge decimal number calculations. And in fact, 
even with low power consumption. And also to add, Snapdragon 778G is 6 nanometer compared to Snapdragon 845, that is 10 nanometer process. Now, what are these 6 nanometer and 10 nanometer? Well, this chipset you see has transistors over them that does the actual job. Transistors are small on and off gates on CPUs that perform the actual calculation. So the smaller the transistor are, the closer they can be, the more you can put in, the less heat, the less electricity has to travel, less wastage. So overall, less battery consumption. So 6 nanometer will definitely give you better battery life compared to 10 nanometer. Now, all of this aside, you might wonder, what is this? A78, A53, all of this. Well, these are ARM cores. ARM is a company that licenses these CPU cores to companies like MediaTek, Snapdragon, Apple, everyone. But the only important thing to talk about right now is Google's Tensor. Google announced Tensor and it is a chip manufactured by Samsung. It's still not Apple making A13 chips, but a better step in Android. The TPU or Tensor processing unit, which was talked a lot about, is the great advantage. You would have seen the live Japanese translation on the Pixel 6. That was real time and insane. And this is what I hope for in the future. You'll see more manufacturers make their own chip or basically have more control over the processor. So they can put hardware cores to make your smartphones or certain tasks like photo processing, browsing the web, watching videos faster, and more efficient. And going forward, this trend will also come to PC and laptop CPUs as well. You will have more specialized cores on them to make certain tasks like webcam, file compression, or video encoding faster and much less power consuming. And with that, I hope you understand smartphone processors. I mean, SOC, system on chip, a bit better. And about the question, if you're buying an old flagship about three years old flagship, you're getting a similar performance like a mid-ranger. And most importantly, this Pixel 3 is not going to receive Android 13. This Android 12 is about it. Whereas this Mi 11 Lite 5G, Xiaomi is going to update it for two to three years, Android 14 in that case. So I will always prefer a mid-ranger over three year old flagship and share this video with other people to make wiser choices. And on that note, this is Pratik signing off. See you pretty soon.